Okay, last video for the night. In the last one, we looked at the file menu and at page setup. Now we've got our page set up with all of these like we did just a minute ago. Now I want to show you how to change the font color and the highlighting color. They have separated those two features out in the last update of Google Docs, which makes it really handy to change whichever one you want to change. The first thing I'm going to do is change the font so we have something nice and dark that we can see. Let's go with luckiest guy because here it is. And I want to make it big because I want you to be able, that's not big. Let's make it nice and big. Okay, so I'm going to type in the title of the font because why not? I can also go over here and change the alignment of it because I know how. I'm going to select, I'm going to highlight, take out those spaces, highlight these two words. The first thing I want to do is change the text color. That's this A with a black line under it. The black is the color that it is right now. When you click on that, you have all of these options along with custom colors. If you're using a theme that has certain colors, they will appear down here. I'm not really using a theme tonight, so we're just going to go with whichever one of these we think is going to show up on the blue. I'm going to go with white. Notice you've got all these gradients of gray, and the solid is down here, and they get lighter and lighter and lighter as they go up. These are all kind of in the neon bright family. As you're changing colors, you want to keep them in the same hue. You want them the same intensity. You don't want to mix a pastel and a, a jewel tone, for example. This just looks goofy. So try to, if you pick this one because you like it, the next color you pick, pick from that same line of colors so that they look like they go together. That's just design 101. I'm going to pick white for this. You can see that really shows up nice. If this was something I was going to put on the website or send in a digital way, this would show up really nice, and that would work. That could be the end of what I have to do. There's nothing else that that needs to be. However, there's something else that it could be. So we highlight it again right next to that A. Notice the line under it's now white. You can't even see it anymore. Next to that is the highlighting color, and this is going to add a highlight back behind those letters. Now, if our letters are white and our page background is already this blue, I've kind of backed myself into a corner. What kind of a color are we gonna to pick to highlight it with? We pick orange, cause you know, Colorado and Broncos and stuff. This is what we get. This could work, maybe, if that's the effect you were going for. You change your mind, obviously, you can go back in and change it. Yeah, that doesn't work. The white font on the yellow highlight, not good. These blues are probably not gonna be good. I want it something dark enough that it shows up. I may have been better off, ew, I was about to say, I may be better off with that orange, but this looks kind of cool. And so now you've got the highlighted, and you've got the page color and the highlight and the font color. Easy enough to do, it requires some thought, okay? Don't just blindly pick every random, garish, ugly color. You want to create something that is striking, and that gets the information across, and that doesn't make people run and hide from you because it's so strange. All right, so these features are right here in the toolbar. They're there in every Google program that has text and highlighting features, which is most of them. Enjoy. Now, go out and create something that looks cool.